So we're talking property this morning on your Feel Good Breakfast show and the daunting task of being a first time home buyer can be both exciting and nerve wracking at the same time because with so many factors to take into consideration this can very well turn into quite the challenging decision. But here to give us a little bit of guidance is the CEO of Private Property, Simon Bray. Simon, lovely to have you in studio. Welcome. Thanks, Ian. Good to be back. Yeah, I love this, man. Love talking about property. I just remember what it felt like to buy my first property. <laughs> it was it was rather exciting but nerve wracking, like I said, at the same time. But in your mind, is there a specific right time to buy property? I mean, are you looking at financial security? Do you look at your job security? Do you look at the markets? You know, what would your advice be? I mean, you've got to look at all of those things, right? As you said, it's a, yeah. it's a daunting process buying your first property. It's wide-eyed terror, if, we, if we're honest with ourselves. So it's a very <laughs> exciting time in anybody's life. The main thing you've got to answer is, can I afford to own this property? You know, property is a difficult process. Uh, it's quite a long legal process. Uh, and selling a property is not that easy either. So, you know, you can buy something and if you do need to sell it because of affordability concerns, that can take a number of months. So you don't want to get that wrong. Yeah. Um, the main thing is, can I afford it? And that's not just the bond repayments, although there's some great calculators on our site to go and work out what bond repayments would be. But there are other costs involved with uh, with owning a property. Uh, rates and taxes, uh, transfer costs when you first buy the property, deposits that your bank expects. So there are a number of things that you should go and work out and we've got a cool calculator on the site, an affordability mm. calculator, plug it all in and it spits <laughs> out what you can afford. Yeah, trust me, I've used those a number of times before <laughs> I bought my property just to see, but I mean, like you said, it is very important to take into consideration all the other costs that yeah. come of, you know, that go with buying a property. But I mean, we have to ask the question, um, at this point in time, 2016, is it better to buy at this stage or should you stick to renting? It's a great question, you know, and we see it uh, probably better than most. Uh, private property is the biggest rental platform in the country. So we sit between this decision, uh, rentals on one side and buy on the other side. Yeah. And I think uh, a great uh, viewpoint on the market is to look at what are rentals in a particular area doing versus the selling price of properties in those areas and then make a decision uh, based on where you're looking to purchase a house. You know, a great example is Morningside in Durban. It's a you know, two-bedroom apartment in Morningside is going to cost you about 8,500 rand a month from a bond repayments uh, point of view. But rentals in that area are already 7,500 rand a month. So the difference is not that big. You know, you could be paying somebody else's mortgage by paying uh, your rental every month or you could be paying your mortgage for just a little bit more. Other areas, though, doesn't make sense at all. You know, you look at Santon, the difference between uh, renting a place and buying a place is about six grand a month. Uh, and then City Bowl, uh, yeah. unreal, 16 grand a month. So it's much cheaper if you want to live in City Bowl area to yeah. rent the place. So it's got very much to do with, you know, what your lifestyle choice okay. is. Uh, but find that area where that difference is small and you absolutely should be buying. Yeah. I want to throw this in, this one in as well. People looking at buying property for the first time at this point in time, looking at the economy, I mean, I think it must be a little bit more difficult for people now to enter into the property market, just given the, you know, the, the economy and, and what we are facing in South yeah. Africa. But should you be looking at buying a property f as an investment or a place for you to stay looking at a family setup at this stage? You know, those reasons for wanting to purchase a property are uniquely personal reasons. Uh, some of the people might be making them because they've got family commitments and they want to create a good, secure env environment for their family. Others, uh, they're getting into the market because they're looking at it as a great investment choice. Uncertainty and what we're seeing in the economy now around interest rates and costs and economy and is the, you know, is the market going to grow or shrink, those are probably very compelling reasons for guys to stay out of the market, mm. but there's another side to look at it, and, and that's that prices haven't increased massively in the last two or three years. So first-time buyers can get a really good deal in the market. You can right. buy property uh, now uh, better than you could have perhaps bought it two, three years ago. So it's probably a safer bet in some respects. Yeah. Um, so it, it really depends on your unique situation. All right. Well, I think it's a good news for a lot of viewers out there. Quickly, before we finish up, I mean, where can people go um, just to, to, to make sure that they know each and everything that they need to know when it comes to buying property, that they're informed when they take that leap of faith? Yeah, I mean, for most people, it'll be the biggest investment they've ever made in their life. So it's absolutely important that they know everything that they can about the process, uh, about the various pitfalls. You know, where do I get a home loan? Uh, how much am I expected to put down as a deposit? Uh, what does the legal process look like and what are some of the taxes and the costs of those taxes? 
those are pieces of information you should be an expert on before you buy the property, not just afterwards. And I think there's, there's great resources online. We've got an advice platform on, on the site where you can go and you can type in any of those questions and we can give you some great advice uh, and help you make the right property decision. Brilliant. Simon, thank you for joining us this morning. Now, to buy that first property can mean creating a home or an investment, but whatever your reason, private property can help you find the perfect home. You can visit them on privateproperty.co.za for some more expert advice, and who knows, you might just discover your first home.